Question number two, Matt Ducey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, what advice has he received about the economic impact of the Kaikoura earthquake? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, at this point the priority is on getting assistance to those who need it and restoring services to affected areas. Uh, and there is no funding constraint uh, on that. The job just simply has to be done. Uh, Treasury has provided uh, some preliminary advice, uh, which is uh, that the Kaikoura quake is significant, uh, but it's going to be quite difficult to get a clear picture of overall costs. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Matt Ducey. What steps is the government taking to respond to the earthquake? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the shorter term steps have been outlined uh, by the Prime Minister uh, and the Minister in charge of earthquakes. It's working. It's working. So we know that uh, we know that repairing roads and other utilities are costly and long-term solutions, uh, which is likely to have an impact on government expenditure and uh, will have some impact on tax revenue. Question. Supplementary question, Matt Ducey. How well placed is New Zealand to deal with the consequences of the earthquake? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, this time I'll be more careful what I say. Um, <laughs> Mr Speaker, the economy is generally in good shape. Government debt is relatively low. Uh, we have budget surpluses, so we're in about as good a shape as we could be to deal with this natural disaster. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Matt Ducey. What financing options does the government have to respond to the Kaikoura earthquake? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, there's um, a range of pretty straightforward options. Uh, the government uh, has capacity to borrow to the extent that we don't actually have cash surpluses. And we want to make sure that financing uh, is not a, a, an impediment to the uh, rapid recovery, uh, particularly for the vital transport links that have been so, um, so much affected by the quakes. Question number three.